This morning we had to unload the tractor and grain cart and get it set up because yesterday we just went straight to the shop and set up the campers and looked at wheat. And then Tafari and Dad came over here and dropped the grain cart and the hopper off and then also went to the shop. So we didn't unload it yesterday, uh, so we had to do it this morning. Are we going to cut today? Yes. Today is a cut day. What about tomorrow? Yes. What about we're the gonna, next day? We're going to cut all the days. You know, there's like a 50% chance of rain on this day. <laughs> Oh, there's one out there. Stop. <laughs> Look, it's right there. Look, see it. No! Ah! <laughs> okay, <stop>. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a pipe. Mom is deathly scared of snakes, if you couldn't tell. So it's been a couple of hours now. Um, we had to do some field scouting and see where we're even going. The plans have changed about three or four times, which is pretty normal. Um, all of the combines that's coming to help is gonna be in different fields because the fields aren't big enough for five combines to get in. It's just gonna be a cluster if we do that. So there's gonna be two combines over here, one over here, mom and I are gonna be over here. Like if we're all gonna be spread out. Like for example, right here, here's one combine. And here's another combine. I like the LSWs, that's very nice. What storms are coming uh, in the near future, I think early next week, so we're trying to hurry up and get all this weed cut because there has been so much rain already rained on it when it's been ready. We're not sure if it's you know sprouted in the head yet or not, so that's why we're kind of hurrying up and trying to get this out. It's either now or never. By the way, yes, I know the tires on the Draper. We gotta take that out. Tessa helped us move to the field. Uh, she doesn't have work today, but since I cut out a spot to cut, and then they stayed behind so I could cut a spot out in the field. I was already cutting the turn row around the field and Tessa was helping mom put on her header. So that being said, Tessa's over there in mom's combine. I'm leaving a strip. But my sections look fine. Weird. All you gotta do is follow the trail. The only culprit is a piece of cactus.
to the next one. I did 20 acres, and both sides right here was plumb full of stuff. She just came over here to eat. Jafari got stuck in the truck, so now Cody's having to pull him out. Go, 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 go. <laughs> go, 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 go. We got it unstuck. And it doesn't look like the bumper's on the ground, so that's always a plus. Tessa is going to help us move to the next field one more time and then after that she's going to have to leave and go back to town. She's on feeding duty this afternoon so she's got things to do. But we're headed to the next field. I'm getting out, stretching my legs. I am falling asleep in that cab. It's one of those days that I have eaten absolutely everything out of my lunchbox, and I am extremely tired, so. We still have Tafari and the grain cart to fill, so we're probably gonna cut another 60 acres or so tonight. But I gotta get out and stretch my legs, because I'm gonna fall asleep in that cab. So, that's what I'm doing. I need me some toothpicks to shove up here and down here, that way it keeps my eyeballs open. 
my eyelids feel like they're 80 pounds, but trucks have to be loaded. Although, after we filled Safari up, I think we're gonna pull the plug. Or actually, Dad gave us the option whether we want to fill the grain cart or not, but I'm pulling the plug. So, this wheat is averaging 31 bushels an acre. Let me tab over on my screen here. I'm doing 900 bushels an hour at five and a half miles an hour, top of the yellow, bottom of the red on the engine load. So, it would probably take 30-ish minutes, maybe 40, to load Cody. And it's already almost midnight, so... Yeah, I'm good. I think I'll do that tomorrow. Watch. That being said, last night I was supposed to edit the move day video, and then tonight this one. Watch. Then it got pushed back, so now tonight I was going to edit the move video. And then tomorrow, this video. Now, I'm like, I'm gonna be three days behind because we're cutting till midnight, which this is actually how harvest is supposed to be. Last year was pretty abnormal. We didn't cut as many acres, didn't work as long. This, this is what harvest is supposed to be like. Except you start at about 10 o'clock in the morning and you don't stop until about midnight. But anyways, we're gonna get wrapped up here tonight and uh, fill Tafari up, and then uh, we're gonna head home. But anyways, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next one.